Yo, what's going on guys? Camille here. So yeah, I'm finally back after a very long break. While I was on a break, I'm pretty sure there are uh, timestamps. So if you want to skip all of this, you can um, just do it. But I'm just going to talk about it very quickly if you want to listen. So yeah, not much really, to be honest. I just stopped playing the game. There's not much going on throughout this whole period. And I just didn't touch Kenshin for like two or three months, I think. So yeah, I wasn't really interested in the game. And therefore, there was no content. I started playing Honkai, but I didn't want to make content about it. So I was just yeah the channel was left but now since 4.0 is coming out i'm back at genshin and i'm back making content also if you guys want to see me um make some new honkai content just tell me in the comments we might start doing that soon but yeah that was it really but yeah now for lynette the new four star character the um sword user in nemo in this video we're going to be talking about her weapons i'm going to tell you guys what she needs and therefore we're going to be ranking the swords in the game based around which are the best for her so yeah just the usual weapons here list video all right so what does lynette need in a weapon so lynette is generally going to be like a quick swap support in most builds most of the things you'd want from her is just like buffs for your team and you want to do like some damage with your elements burst and skill on the side well unless you have her c6 in that case you could just play her as a auto attacks main dps but other than that that's how lynette is going to be played so yeah um for that you just want to spam her burst pretty much and she needs quiet some energy recharge so obviously energy recharge weapons are going to be pretty good also you'd want weapons you know the normal damage weapons like crit crit damage crit rate and attack all of these are going to be pretty good too so she needs kind of like a simple combination for weapons um also in some builds you can build her with like a full elemental mastery investment so obviously in this scenario you'd want elemental mastery weapons but this is like different if you want elemental mastery weapons usually you don't want any crit or you know and like that maybe some energy recharge but if you want to build crit and attack um you know you don't want really any elemental mastery or you might want some but it's generally you know you don't want to like get too much but yeah we're gonna see that in a bit with that being said let's just rank the weapons all right so these are all the swords in the game right now first of all we have the cool steel so it's pretty much just attack really and stuff like that i mean it can work it gives you attack which is good for your damage maybe a little bit but generally speaking it's not that great of a weapon so i just put it as c tier um we've got the harbinger of dawn it's a bit of like a stat stick for crit damage and crit rate but i wouldn't really say it's super good so i just put that like b tier travelers and these swords is just defense stuff like that so it's going d tier um dark iron sword it's elemental mastery and then it can also increase your attack um as i said before the two are not really um you you know usable in this same scenario elemental mastery and attack generally speaking but it's still a pretty usable weapon especially for like elemental mastery builds so i'll put that b tier fillet blade is just attack pretty much the same thing as the cool steel so i'll also put as c tier skyrider sword is just energy recharge and then it's going to increase your um attack you can use it as like an energy recharge stat stick but they're like a lot of um just better energy recharge weapons so it's usable but i wouldn't really say it's that good so i'll just but that's C tier. Now we have the Favonius, so it's just energy recharge and then the Favonius passive, which is just more energy. Honestly, I think that's one of the best weapons for Lynette, um, especially outfield Lynette. It's gonna like cover up your energy pretty well and also help out your whole team with energy, which is pretty good. So yeah, I would say that's definitely one of the weapons you'd wanna use on Lynette. Um, so I might put it like A or S tier. You know, I'll put it S tier. Um, we've got the flu, it's just for attack. Other than that, not much is really going on. So yeah um i wouldn't say it's bad but it's just a b tier weapon i would say we've got the sacrificial it's energy recharge and then the sacrificial passive which just resets your elemental skill it's also a very good energy recharge weapon for a lynette it's definitely not as good as the favonius but it's it's still worse too so i would say it's kind of a tier material it's definitely a pretty good weapon um you can use it if you don't have the favonius or you can't use it for some reason then yeah the sacrificial is gonna give you a lot of energy recharge and then also double up your skill which which means double the particles which is pretty good so yeah sacrificial i would say it's a tier um we have the royal longsword pretty much just attack um and the lion's roar so we put them both at like b tier it's not in special it's just attack increases your damage and stuff like that other than that not much is going on so there's just average usable weapons broadside prank core it's physical damage and then 
this whole attack stuff so it's going d tier we have the iron sting elemental mastery which is pretty good for a full elemental mastery build and then it can just increase all of your damage which is also pretty good um it's pretty good i'll put it like maybe a tier but again only for elemental mastery builds if you're not building her with elemental mastery then this weapon is going to be like d tier so please understand this when i put elemental mastery weapons on good spots it's only for like full elemental mastery builds black Cliff long sword um it's a good crit damage like um stat stick and also it has like kind of a high base attack the passive is pretty much just useless so just for like being a stat stick i put it like b tier black sword again is just crit rate kind of an average base attack the passive is not good if you're not using her as a main dps which is not what we're explaining today so for like a quick swap lynette it's probably not gonna be that well the passive thing so yeah i'll just put the weapon on like b tier too it's average just for the crit rate and that's it alley flash super high base stack and then some elemental mastery it doesn't even give you that much elemental mastery you can just use the like three star um dark iron and it's gonna be better it's gonna increase your damage too by 12 percent but it's like whatever so yeah i think i put it like c tier to be honest um what is that a playstation sword it's just very low base attack and then attack um no passive pretty much so it's just going d tier faster in desire is gonna give you energy recharge and it's also just gonna increase your elemental skills damage damage and your elemental skills crit rate um it's cool but nothing really special so again i just put out like maybe high b tier you know it's not that special or anything like that it's just energy recharge some damage for elemental skill and that's it we have the aminimo kaguchi it's just attack and then it can give you some energy from the passive the thing is your elemental skill has kind of like a high um, cooldown so you wouldn't really be getting that many seeds which means not really that much energy so yeah i wouldn't really say it's a super good weapon i think it's still usable to be honest it's pretty usable you can just get six energy each time or maybe i don't know 12 depending on what refinements so yeah especially um if you have like higher refinements it can be pretty usable other than that it's not really that good so i'll put it like low b tier cinnabar spindle which is defense so it's going d tier kaguturubi ishin i don't even know if that many people have this weapon but yeah it's just pretty much attack and the same thing as the other weapons before so it's just going b tier sapwood blade um energy recharge and also a high base attack the passive i'm honestly not sure if um lynette can take advantage of that because with your elemental burst she can um trigger like the um elemental attacks so i think they're gonna be able to like trigger the burning quicken and aggravate if you have like a dendro on your team so if you have a dendro on your team this weapon i think can work it's just gonna be giving you like um energy recharge and then the support stuff from the um elemental mastery thing on the field you can give it to like another character and that's it or you can use it on lynette herself and like a elemental mastery build but yeah i don't know i just put it like b tier um i would say it's just an average weapon it doesn't even give you that much like energy recharge so yeah i'd say b tier is fair um syphos moonlight is it's a very good weapon for an elemental mastery build maybe the best honestly to be honest so because it, it's going to give you elemental mastery and then it's going to give you energy recharge and then it's also going to buff your other characters which is very very good so honestly for a elemental mastery build i would say it's an s tier weapon it's definitely one of the best again only for an elemental mastery build um prize ishin blade again i don't even know if many people have this weapon but yeah it's just attack pretty much and the passive is just whatever so it's gonna be tier two we have the um tukabo shigure so it's pretty much just elemental mastery really it's gonna give you a decent amount of elemental mastery but that's about it so for an elemental mastery build um it's gonna be pretty good i'll put it like lower a tier maybe we have finale of the deep that's the new um craftable weapon so it's pretty much just a high base attack and then attack too um there's not really much going on there so i'd say it's b tier then we have the crossing of flu sender that's the um i think the new event weapon the fission thing it's also pretty good it's just gonna give you energy recharge and then it's gonna increase your elemental skills crit rate and then it's gonna increase your energy recharge after using your elemental skill it's pretty much just a slightly better version of um the faster and desire so yeah, i'd put it like a tier it's definitely a very good weapon for um Lynette. all right now for the five stars we have the akilo favonia for the substat it's just physical damage but it's gonna give you a 
super high base attack and then it's also going to increase your attack so just for that as a stat stick it's not going to be bad so i'll put that like a tier because it's just going to give you a lot of attack which means a lot of damage if you can manage your other stats we have skyward blade a super high base attack too and then energy recharge and then it's also going to increase your crit rate by a little bit so it's pretty much the whole package it's definitely a super good weapon for lynette and your recharge and then you know a lot of damage so yeah i'll put it at s tier definitely we have freedom sword um it's just elemental mastery and then the whole freedom sword passive i'm not even gonna read it again it's basically just say supportive passive for the rest of your team which is pretty good and then it's also gonna give you a huge amount of elemental mastery so for an elemental mastery build i would definitely say it's an s tier weapon but again for only for an elemental mastery build summit shaper um it's just attack pretty much the passive is kind of mad especially for a little net but again just as a stat stick so i put it at like lower a tier the jade cutter is just crit rate and then it's just gonna give you some attack so it's definitely a very good weapon i would put it like higher a tier too mid splitter reforged a super high base stack and then crit damage and then it's gonna give you 12 percent elemental damage bonus which all of these are already pretty good um now you can get some stacks from the um you know you can auto attack and stuff like that and they get even more elemental damage bonus which can be pretty cool but even if you ignore like the stacks because it could be long to get them it's still a super good stat stick so it's definitely going to s tier and then pretty much the exact same thing with the uh Haran Gipiku. you know a high base stack crit rate and then it's gonna give you elemental damage bonus the rest of the passive is not really usable on Lynette especially quick swap Lynette because you're not gonna be auto attacking but it's still a super good stat stick so I would put it at like s tier I don't know maybe uh, you can argue like higher a tier but to be honest as you see in s tier just as a stat stick and this is pretty much what you need for Lynette, you know, crit rate and then elemental damage bonus. Yeah, there's no energy recharge, but you can get that from your artifacts and you're good. We have the key of Hajnus Su. Um, it's just HP and then increase your elemental mastery based around your HP. It could be pretty good for like a elemental mastery build. Um, wouldn't really say it's an S tier material because they're like very simpler and better elemental mastery weapons. Well, again, it depends. It give you more elemental mastery and stuff like that. So it's pretty good. So I'd put it like higher A tier, maybe lower S tier higher a tier for an elemental mastery build we have um light of foliar inclusion you know kind of a low base attack for a five star weapon but it's gonna give you a lot of crit damage which is pretty good and then it's also gonna increase your crit rate by a bit um from the passive the rest of the passive is kind of whatever but generally speaking it's still pretty good for linda just only as a stat stick for crit rate and crit damage so yeah i'd put it like um uh, maybe lower s tier so yeah, i would say that's pretty much it for most of the weapons for lynette again this is a um guide for like quick swap lynette for main dps lynette if you ever c6 it's just gonna be like the crit weapons plus the auto attacks buffs weapons so yeah it's it's gonna be pretty simple too but for a quick swap lynette as you can see uh, most of the weapons here are just like you know stat sticks where they just give you like more damage for lynette and you can get energy recharge elsewhere or they're gonna give you energy recharge which is also pretty good for a elemental mastery build it's pretty simple it's just any weapon that gives you elemental mastery so yeah um i would say she has pretty like um good free to play options yeah i mean a lot of five stars are gonna be pretty good on her but she also has um like very good free to play alternatives which is pretty good i'll say she's fairly free to play friendly so yeah that was the video guys if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like subscribe to the channel wait for other videos i'm gonna be uploading more and see y'all in the next video peace